Today we're going to learn an easy process to add the orange and teal effect to any photo using Lightroom. So let's get started. Hello friends, my name is Brendan from BeWellCreative.com and on this channel we love to talk about photography and photo editing. So if that sounds like something that you would be into, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you never miss a video. Now today we're gonna to talk all about how to get the orange and teal look in your photos using a few simple tools in Lightroom. No matter what type of photo you're working with today, using these exact methods are going to get you to that end result of the orange and teal look, but the exact adjustments you use will depend on the different colors that are in your specific photo. So this is more of an outline rather than a definitive do this amount for this slider type of thing. So with that in mind, let's we'll hop into Lightroom and see how it's done. So once you have your image opened in Lightroom, you're gonna to wanna to go down to the HSL and the color grading adjustments. So this is after you've already done all your exposure adjustments, you're happy with the general look of your photo, now you're applying that color effect to your image. So starting with the HSL adjustment, here you can adjust your hue, saturation, and luminance of your entire image. And that means that we can adjust things to favor the orange and the teal hues in the photo. So for this effect to work, you're gonna be working between the reds, oranges, yellows, greens, aquas, and the blues. The purple and magenta tones don't really make that big of a difference, so we're not gonna focus on them. In this case, I'll just start with the blues, and since I want it to look more teal, I'm gonna drag that down to create a more teal look, since that's what you get when you bring down the hue of your blue slider. And now for aquas, since if I go this way, it becomes green, I'm gonna drag that up, so it's gonna favor the blue hue and the teal look a little bit more. Next, going up to my green slider, I'm gonna drag that down so we can add more yellow. And then with the yellow adjustment, since we want that to look orange, hence the orange and teal look, we'll drag that down as well to favor a more orange hue. And looking at the signs in the background of our photo, you can see how much more orange those look compared to back at regular here. So bringing that all the way down, Again, the amount that you use for each of these sliders is gonna depend on your photo and the colors in your image. Lastly, we'll go to the orange and red tones, but these are also the color ranges that affect your skin tone, so you have to be mindful that you don't go too crazy with this or else you'll start to get some weird effects going on there. So what I usually do is bring down the oranges a little bit until the skin starts to get noticeably discolored, so right now it's quite red, and then I'll go and counter that with the red slider and increase that just a little bit. And so that's going to eliminate a little bit of that discoloration, so it's a bit more acceptable looking. So at this point, we have a pretty good base adjustment because we've adjusted all of the hues to favor those orange and teal colors. Now to help accentuate that, we'll use the saturation sliders. Since we want to accentuate the teal and the oranges, the ones that are gonna make the biggest difference there are the orange, yellow, aqua, and blue sliders. So I'm gonna drag up the blue because I really want that to pop in this photo. And then I'll do the same with the aquas. And that's just gonna make this background area that has those blue hues a lot more noticeable. And again, depending on how much of each color tone you have in your photo, this will look a little bit different. I'll then play around with the orange slider, depending on if you like that muted look or not, you can increase or decrease the oranges to get that muted look, or you can kind of make everything pop, depending on what you're going for. In this case, I'm just gonna increase them just a little bit. And then for my yellows, just to mix things up, I'm gonna drag that down just a little and so it cools off some of the saturation and the signs back here. Now for the last option, you can use a luminance, but this isn't going to make that big of a difference in the effect. It's just going to change how much certain colors are noticeable since this adjustment affects the brightness of individual colors. So for example, if I drag up the luminance of the blue, notice how all the blues in the image start to get a little bit brighter. So I might just quickly go through and make a few areas pop a little bit more like so. And with that, if I turn that on and off, you can see the pretty substantial difference that that has made just with a few sliders going through the hue, saturation, and luminance adjustments. So at this point, we've already created the majority of the orange and teal look in our photo. Compared to before, we have a lot more dominant orange and those teal hues that we're looking for. However, we can increase that a lot more by using the color grading adjustment down here. Now the color grading tool is something that's relatively new to Lightroom in the last few months, and it has replaced the split toning feature that was the old way of doing things. Now if you're new to the color grading adjustment, I highly recommend checking out my previous tutorial all about how to use this tool and how it affects your images. So if you wanna check that out, hit the card up in the corner right now, or you can find the link down below. If you just wanna continue on with this orange effect, 
let's keep going. In a nutshell, each of these color wheels will affect a different exposure range in your photo from the midtones, the shadows, and the highlights. So for the orange and teal effect, what that means is you can add a literal orange or a teal hue to different exposure ranges, making it very easy to create this effect. So starting in the midtones, I'll add a nice orange color and depending on how saturated and noticeable you want this to be, more saturation will be closer to the edge of the color wheel, while less saturation will be more towards the center. So I'll just drag this up somewhere in the middle here and I want those oranges to be quite noticeable in this case. Next, I'll go to my shadows and I'll play around with this. I usually like to go between the oranges and then back to the teals just to see which one looks best. And in this case, I like the look of the teals in the shadows. So I'll hold the shift key and then now I can increase that saturation a little bit more precisely and play around with what looks best. So in this case, I kind of like right there, kind of in the middle. And then for the highlights to finish things off, I'll click and drag around. Again, I can check out both sides to see my options, but I think the yellow or an orange hue is gonna work best in this case. And then I'll hold the shift key and I'll desaturate that a lot because I don't want that to be crazy noticeable. So that looks pretty good right there. And then to finish things off, we can use the balance and the blending sliders. Now these tools help to change what colors between the shadows, midtone, and highlight hues are going to be most noticeable in your image. So in this case, it's going to favor the orange hues or the blue hues because those are the two colors we have selected. So adjusting the blending slider, you can see how it favors a little bit more blue on this end and a little more orange on that end. In this case, I kind of like favoring the oranges a bit more. And then for the balance, it's going to affect how noticeable the highlight hue is compared to the shadow hue. So for this photo, I'm just going to drag down the balance a little bit. It's going to favor the blues a little bit more since I think there's already a lot of oranges there. I want that to pop a little bit more. Now at this point things are really coming along but there's one last thing that you can do and that's the global color grading color wheel. So this rather than affecting a specific exposure range it will apply a single hue over your whole photo across all the exposure ranges at once. So if you want your photo to look a little more orange or favor a more blue hue you can do all of that with the global color wheel. In this case I like to use it just as a backup option to further accentuate that orange and teal depending on what color you wanting to favor in your photo, you can add a lot more of it with this global adjustment. So in this case, I'm just going to add a very slight bit of orange holding the shift key, decrease that saturation. And I'm just going to drag that up a tiny bit just so it's a little bit more orange while still getting all those blue hues from before. Now again, you can always go back and adjust your HSL adjustments to fine tune any of the hues that you have going on, especially after color grading, you might end up with a little bit of a different look than you started with, but ultimately going to the before and after, you can see the pretty big difference that that makes to create that orange and teal look that we were going for. Compared to the starting one, it's definitely favoring those hues and it was only using two different color adjustments in Lightroom. With the HSL adjustments, you're able to change the hue of colors to favor the orange and teal palette that you're going for. And then with color grading, you're able to add that finished look, make it a little bit more stylized and make those orange and teal tones pop a little bit more in your image. So together, these tools are really easy to use in a fast and effective way of creating this effect. Alright guys, so now you know how to create the orange and teal look in Lightroom desktop, but if you want to learn how to do this on Lightroom mobile, it's a very similar process, but there's some different steps and I write all about it on my website that you can find a link for down below. So again, if you want to learn how to get that orange and teal look, but this time with Lightroom mobile, which is a free app, by the way, you can find a link on how to do that down in the description below. If you enjoyed today's tutorial, then make sure to hit that like button as it really does make a difference. And also consider subscribing to stay up to date with more tutorials just like today. Anyways, guys, that's all I have for you. Again, my name is Brendan from BeWillCreative.com and I'll catch you back here next time for another new tutorial. See you then.